Welcome to Rick Helps Real Estate. Today we're going to look at how fast prices are going down and how far they have gone down. So we're definitely in a declining market. Uh, a little housing recession, maybe a great housing recession. Time will tell. So we're kind of taking a look at things today. First thing I always like to look at is my seven day moving average here. And it it took, it's still down. These are new listings that are coming on board. And you can see it's still down. But getting into Labor Day weekend here, we've had a bump up whereas sales right now are just flatlining i expect that to decline very soon after the holiday we always have a dip on labor day and what's interesting is there's some numbers in there uh, it showed that we went up about 200 homes just on plain old new listings coming on and we're up about 150 in a category called back on market now, there's a lot of reasons for a house to go back on market. They fall out. In other words, somebody wrote a contract, got it into the inspection period. They weren't able to negotiate repairs, so the buyer walks away. Or the buyer went under contract, and the interest rates went up, and they weren't able to secure financing, so they had to walk away. So a lot of different reasons a house will fall out. But there's an odd thing going on, and it's uh, going on with this, this one brokerage. And I'm going to show you an example here because I... I don't understand the status here, so I'm going to get myself out of the uh, um, out of the way there. There we go. So you look down here on the bottom. Here they listed it on June 8th. Actually, they listed it on June 29th, June 30th. So you can see they loaded photos, more photos, status listed as new, change the text, and then they have photos. They put it on. Uh, let's see, when did they put it? Yeah, 6:29. It's brand new brand new listing but then look at this listing it for 275 and then they extend it on the 14th so they only put this listing on from uh, let's see from new from the 29th to the 15th to the 14th so they had a listing agreement of no more than two weeks pretty confident they were going to sell it in two weeks in june well that didn't happen so they signed an extension but look what they did after the extension they raised the price from 275 to 288. You didn't get that offer at 275, so why not mark it up? So they mark it up, and then they do this, and this is what I'm seeing now a lot. 82 homes looking at it today. Temporarily off market on the 31st of August, and then changing the primary picture, some of the text, and put it back on as a new listing on the 3rd of September. What is the gimmick for this? What is the reason for this? I don't understand. It doesn't help your listing to come off a day and then come on. It doesn't show up as a new listing. It just shows up as, as back on market. And for some reason, uh, there's a brokerage out there that think that thinks that's a good ploy. Now, what's going on with pricing here? Well, let's look at median pricing. And I want to explain what it means, too. As we look at median pricing, um, you can see here that the price median price here for May was 480,000. The median price for today is 450,000. So that's down about five, six percent. But here's you got to look at the meat inside these median. There's median and then there's average. So now I'm going to explain the difference to you. Take a look at this May 22nd, median price 480,000 with the range in prices from $12,000 to 11 million so that's the range so you take 12,000 11 million and you find out where the middle is the median it's like being in school and you're getting graded on the curve so that's how you get the median price now if that 11 million isn't there and it goes down to like I don't know I'm gonna say 6 million the median price will go down so let's look and see what happened here in September or August it says here the numbers the devil kind of details here says from 12,000 to 9,300,000. 9, so the upper end slid down, median price went down. Make sense? Let's look at an average price. This is average sales price per square foot. Telling the same story that it's sliding at a pretty good clip. May, we are at $306 a square foot, and now we're down to $279 a square foot. The difference there is again about six percent five or six percent so that's from the month of may 
So we have definitely come off that peak month. The month of May shows the recorded sales per square foot. Interest rates went up in May, and then it went down from there. So offers were written in April or late March for those recordings that showed up in May. And you can see from that peak, we're already down 5%. People are not rushing out and listing their homes, though. You can see this. It kind of mirrors what I showed you on my little chart with the blue graph and the, and the uh, sales. And you can see here for the month of August, 9,102 new listings and 10,539 last year, same month. So when you say, well, this is seasonal. No, this is August to August. Every one of these numbers are August. 2006... We had 14,775 new listings. So you can see in comparisons, the month of August, we're, we're getting down there in low territory. The lowest here is August 2014. And I can't remember what happened in 2014 that pretty much makes all the numbers look so ugly, but something was going on there. I think I would remember that. Here's listings canceled per week. Now remember, I just showed you an example of 82 homes canceled and then whoop, back on. So that rolls into this number. So we've gone from these lows down here of 137 back in week 16 to 414 right now. So that's not a huge number, as you can see, looking at different uh, years in the background here. But it's a significant number. And then expireds are climbing. And expireds are climbing for a couple of reasons. One, People tried to sell their home. They were trying to see if they could actually pick up on some of that equity. They couldn't. They just let the listing expire. Or as I showed you in another example, they only made a two-week listing. I've seen some as low as one week or even 72 hours. Put the home on, pull it off. Didn't work. So it's an expensive game to play. Here's our sales per month. You can see that they're rapidly declining. So there's, I mean, there's just no getting over that, that uh, buyers are staying out of this, out of this market right now. And then you look at active listings and the fact that people are staying home and not shopping for a home right now, not writing contracts is why this active listing keeps climbing, starting to plateau a little bit. And what does that mean? Well, it just means we have to watch it. it there's a lot of reasons that can make it spike up right now. Sellers are saying, well, I tried, I'm going to sit it out. If these prices continue to decline, we could see a little bit of despair out there and people could panic and try to hurry up and sell their house at any cost. If people start getting very concerned, they will do that. They'll go out and say, well, I'm trying to get 500000 but I'm looking at my neighbors and they're all 490 I'm marking mine to 450 I'm getting out of this race. So there may be some of that coming. But we have to continue to look. But then keep in mind, about 60% of the homes out there are going to stay put. Homeowners, they have a mortgage under 4%, many under 3%. They're going to stay put. They are not going to list their homes. Even when I surveyed you, the viewer out there, 63% of you said that very thing. In the survey, are you thinking of selling? No, I'm staying put because I have a low interest rate. 63%. It's not a big um, big survey. I think maybe 200 of you participated. But the statistics match what I'm seeing nationally. And that is that people are just not in the mood to put their house on the market because if you're already sitting on a low interest rate, now you're going to sell your home, maybe get a lower price on something else, but you just had to sell your home at a lower price. You're going to sign on to a higher rate. The math doesn't work for you, you're out. You're not going to do that. So that's where we're at with the market today. Stay tuned. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you know whenever I add new content. And don't forget, next week we're going to be interviewing a water expert in the state of Arizona because water is a big deal. And I have a whole bunch of questions for that guy. Thanks for watching. Take care.